Here we have a 2002 Sea Ray 225 Weekender. The boat's a nice boat with a bow roller on the front for easy anchoring. Lots of depth to the boat too. This boat's really good in rough water. We got some lights in the uh, port lights here for inside the cabin. Makes a nice look to the whole boat. Galvanized roller trailer with the neoprene rollers. Actually, the, the poly rollers. What they do is uh, they help keep the marks from uh, getting on the bottom of the boat. But this boat's been really well maintained. Very good looks to the boat. You don't see much in the way of scratches or anything like that. It's really been taken care of very well. What I like most about this boat, the extended swim platform. Here you see that the drive is all the way up, but even with it down, kids on the back of the boat hopping in the water. You don't have to worry about the drive. It's way out of the way. Also notice the trim tabs for easy cleaning on the boat. Integrated ladder into the back. But you can see you got plenty of room on here and the platform is self-supporting. You can get a couple of people back here. Plus, hey, you can hang out back here also. If you're, if you're in the water, you can dangle your feet in there. Uh, transom shower on the back side as well. So you, you got plenty of room in your anchor to just kind of hang out. Or if you're fishing, you can sit on the back and fish as well. This boat's equipped with the camper canvas, which you'll see up here. And inside the, the cockpit, snap-in carpet. There's a table that fits in right here. Your engine has the cushions over top of the whole thing. And what's nice about this, you can either take the side cushions out, which they are, for easy access to the back of the boat, or you can fit them in place. So now you have a full bench seat across the back as well. So you can easily sit four or five people across the back, plus your two at the helm seats. As you can see, you can fit lots of people inside here. What's also nice too is you have deep, wide gunnel areas. If you wanted to mount some rod holders in here and really use this as a fishing boat, you could. The, uh, the liner does snap out for plenty of, uh, for fishing purposes, you can easily hose it out and keep it clean. Uh, cooler is in here as well for either uh, you know, drinks or, or what have you inside the boat. Um, camper canvas is nice, uh, very tall. You can stand up inside here. Very good condition. When we opened it up out of the, can the, the bag, it didn't even look like these curtains were ever used. Nice and clear Isinglass all the way around. At the helm seat here, flip up riser so you can easily stand behind the helm look up over the windshield, or you can drop it down, and it gives you great support up underneath the legs for the long trips. Tilt steering wheel for comfort. Uh, in in the, the gauges here, everything's very easy to see. Nice deep dashboard with your compass right in front of you, and a windshield wiper also. Uh, this boat's equipped with a couple of other features also. VHF radio, and there's a Lowrance GPS 2000 that goes here as well. Uh, that stays with the boat. All your, your buttons and switches and everything are all within easy reach. The port side seating also features the same flip up riser that you see here. But again, cup holders. This is the door for going up on the deck. This is nice and solid. It's also your integrated steps, which you can step up onto the deck, which is nice if you're going up there, the door must be closed to utilize the steps. Uh, if kids are gonna be doing this, door must be in the closed position. That way then you don't have to precariously climb over where you have your, your cabin entranceway. So for safety, the door must be closed, which is your steps again to get up onto the deck. Oh, underneath the seat pods here also, there are uh, there's storage under both sides. And then the other side will do the same thing. Into the cabin we go. very clean. I think if you were to take the time to come see it, you'll you'll see the fact that everything has been very well maintained. It's, it's an O2, but it doesn't look like an O2. It's in great shape. Uh, V-berth is huge. 
Oh, what's nice here? You have, uh, these are your, these are the cushions. The table stores underneath here, which comes out, and then these fit in place, one from each side. So now you have your, your V berth for sleeping, and it is quite large. Plenty of room on both sides to store things. Here we have the cockpit cover, that's included in here as well. Uh, toilet is a pump out head, and your step down is also a trash receptacle. Pressure water system, which gave you the transom shower, also gives you a sink here as well. And here we have AM, FM, the, uh, AM, FM uh, CD players in here as well. And uh, that should pretty much cover it. Uh, as I said, the boat's in nice shape. Uh, it'd be certainly worth to take a look. Uh, oh, it's powered by a 5 liter EFI, fuel injected engine, 240 horsepower. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you so much.